Six feelings involuntarily show on our faces. These include sadness, anger, happiness, anxiety, surprise, and disgust. Micro-expressions are expressions that go on and off the face in a fraction of a second. These are considered the best predictor of true feelings and the truth. When people get stressed, they pacify themselves by crossing their arms and rubbing their hands against their shoulders. It's almost like they are giving themselves a hug. This is because they comfort themselves by reminiscing how a mother hugs her child. Body language experts say that when a person speaks with partial shoulder shrugs, he, she is not telling the truth. On the other hand, if the person's both shoulders rise equally and fully, it means that the speaker is giving truthful statements. Contrary to popular belief, if a person is maintaining eye contact while speaking it means that he or she is lying. People working in rooms with blue walls or decorations experience a boost in their productivity and creativity. Stripping off paper from drink bottles is considered a sign of sexual frustration. A mental condition called Paris Syndrome is associated with Japanese people who visit Paris. Herein, people experience both excitement and disappointment while touring the city. A tired and overworked brain is more creative. It brims with more ideas than a less exhausted brain. Nomophobia or no mobile phone phobia is the phobia of being detached from mobile phone connectivity. People with this syndrome usually experience stress levels equal to wedding jitters or anxiety associated with dentist visits. Our thoughts are more rational and structured when we think in a language that is not our mother tongue. We scream out when we are really happy, sad, or excited. This is because the hypothalamus in our brain, that controls our physical reactions, cannot distinguish between the three emotions. According to human psychology, being bored at work is a good thing. Boredom saves us from being stuck in a world of absolute sameness, stagnancy, and dullness. In fact, it serves as a green flag that it's time to put in more effort and change things. Women laugh at men they are attracted to, while men are attracted to women who laugh at their jokes. Want someone to like you? Ask for a favor. The Ben Franklin effect states that when you ask a favor of someone, you are instilling trust and confidence in them. This makes them like you. Research shows that women feel happier in intimate relationships when their male partners open up about being upset. Botox injections temporarily disable the muscles needed for sad facial expressions. This reduces people's negative emotional experiences and their symptoms of depression. The ability to respond with sarcasm within seconds of a stupid question is a sign of a healthy brain. According to science, People perceive us to be 20% more attractive than what we are. 90% of people text things that they can't say in person. Hostile and aggressive people own the most aggressive dog breeds, such as Rottweiler or German Shepherd. Studies show that work incentives like fat bonuses boost quantity and not quality of work. 
These are most effective in cases that involve manual labor, but these fail in work that involves cognitive skills. Our face turns red when we get angry. This is because the heart pumps more blood to our muscles to prepare us for a fight response. People who fear that they will live alone in old age and are more likely to die alone experience cognitive decline upon receiving this information. When nervous or feeling discomfort, men touch their faces. Women, on the other hand, touch their neck or hair or fiddle with their clothing and jewelry. According to the Dunning-Kruger effect, People who are the most incompetent are the least aware of their own incompetence. When a person crosses both legs and arms, it means that they are feeling uncomfortable in the situation and have emotionally withdrawn themselves. Socially awkward people are more faithful and loyal in relationships. According to a study, happiness and life satisfaction peaks after the age of 50. Our friends and family have a deeper perspective of our romantic relationships. They are usually the ones who can predict how long such relationships will last. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new facts. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.